just have a look. Oh la la. Oh wow. So today is the start of something pretty exciting. I'm going to be working with Pro Direct Running on a collaboration with the Ekadin Pack from Nike. Um, basically every year Nike bring out a brand new sort of um, design with the, in collaboration with the Ekadin Relay which is a um, marathon relay race that is held in Japan. It's a historic event um, where basically uh, a relay team compete over the marathon distance. This year I am going to be receiving the Alpha Flies um, and some kit I believe which is all based on that this year's Ekadent Relay race. Um, so yeah I'm excited to receive the kit. Um, I haven't received it just yet. I'm just about to jump on a Zoom meeting now with the rest of the team um, and hopefully tell you guys a little bit more about the project. Um, and about the the hundred kilometer relay race that we're going to be taking part in in an attempt to break the hundred kilometer world record for a solo. Going to jump on the call and uh, yeah, meet some of the guys. Well, hello all. Um, thanks for for joining. I appreciate it. it's like probably like smack bang in the middle of lunchtime. So um, yeah, we'll try and keep everything like stick to time so you can all get on and do everything. I hope everyone is excited for next week. Um, obviously, the actual Ekaden kit. Um, long, uh, drop today, um, which hopefully we'll kind of seen on social and everything. Um, but I just thought I'd use this opportunity today just to kind of basically go through everything that's going to happen next week. Also, just do a bit of an introduction for this call. We do have um, a guest with us called Harry, um, who some of you might know, um, who is um, a podcast presenter on This Is Jog On. Um, some of you may have listened to some of his stuff before, but we've invited Harry along for next week um, because part of this whole launch is that we're going to pull together this really great video of you all and someone like Harry is going to be amazing for that because he's going to present it all and basically be there on the day to kind of talk to you and do like a presenter style piece for the video itself. Marvellous. Okay, excellent. Uh, yeah, I'll just give you a really boring quick uh, 20 seconds on who I am. Um, my name's Harry. Uh, kind of akin to Ben's line, um, also do a running-themed YouTube channel. Background is kind of uh, radio was, was where I kind of came from and doing presenting and work my, working my way up through um, producers and making cups of tea and whatnot. And then um, did a breakfast show at 24 and a few years on from now, a podcast and a running YouTube channel that is slowly growing and um, yeah, it's, it's kind of becoming a full-time thing. I know Ben's also experienced some stuff with this. It's quite a mad world now that we can sort of make videos and, and create content uh, that is running-themed. Um, it's quite an exciting uh, prospect that we can do that. Um, one question, uh, Ben, are you doing your own video that day? Are you going to be GoProing and doing stuff as well? Yeah, that's the plan. So I was going to do sort of okay. like a three-part um, series on my YouTube channel. So I'm actually recording this um, chat right now. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, and I'm going to do sort of like a, a three part where I, I do it before, share a bit of this process um, and then make my own video on the day um, and then sort of yeah. an afterthought, review the shoes, that sort of stuff. I'd have done my hair more if I'd known you were filming that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. I didn't know Ben was going to be filming. You're very, <laughs> you're very small, so don't worry about the hair. I'm, you look fine. <laughs> don't worry, you're tired. I think, I think Dan's run off to get a comb and... <laughs> yeah, he's done his makeup quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is, he's back now. Should we continue the, like, I know it's a bit awkward doing the round table style where everybody, like, says a little little bio about themselves, but should we, you know, you don't have to go into too much detail, but just so everybody knows who each other, you know, who they are, and, and if you have got anything that you want to talk about in regards to the event itself, any um, concerns about your leg and, and all that kind of stuff, then, uh, as in the relay leg, not your actual... I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see who's got a dodgy leg. <laughs> I basically work for ProDirect. Um, we do lots of different things within our within our job roles, but uh, technically speaking, uh, digital content and, and, and social media editor. Um, so everything that you see on on socials is is me. Um, but obviously, we've got our own in-house photography team and, and video team, like like we referenced, um, and also like on the article right in front and, and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of my main my main area at the moment. But our roles are quite fluid, which is how we end up getting involved with organising stuff like this and, and actually being involved in the event itself, um, as well as the planning and whatnot behind it. So that's that's 
me in a nutshell and, and what I do. I'm the lucky one that doesn't have to go through the pain cave uh, on the day. Uh, but no, I, I've worked at ProDirect for just over 10 years now. So it's, uh, yeah, been, been a, a while at ProDirect and the last sort of four or five of those uh, I've been within the running team specifically and working as the brand manager in the running team to, to yeah, to, to sort of make running a more exciting place. And um, I think the, the great thing about this opportunity working with, with all of you guys and, and Nike is to sort of show how fun running can be and how you can pluck six people together, come up with some fun challenges and, and really make a day of it. And exactly what Harry was saying about let's just enjoy it and, and have fun. That, that's kind of how we, we visualise this this idea is just, yeah, making running a better place by sharing better content. Um, go for Dan. Hi. Um, I think what I was, I actually listened to Dan, wasn't thinking about what I was going to say. So, yeah, Harry actually has been to my house. It was a bit awkward. He came to my house and <laughs> um, recorded my housemate. Didn't record me. Um... So no, yeah, I, so I run uh, pretty much full time, and I work alongside that, and I do little bits for pro directors. Probably none of you watched the YouTube video yet. Never pro or Ben or Becky. We haven't watched it yet. I reckon Harry's watched it, but I watched it. Yeah, that's about it. And Philly's looking at me on here because she hasn't watched it. <laughs> um, Ben. Yeah, so I'm sort of. On the running side of things, I'm, on, I'm mainly on uh, YouTube as my platform, sort of. Um, I'm a club runner and I just share my experience um, through my training and going to race events and doing shoe reviews. So, yeah, this will link in quite nicely. Um, yeah, I was excited to get the, the call up to work with you guys. Obviously, a lot of you are going down the professional route, whereas I'm more of the, the gimmicky guy on YouTube. So, it'd be nice to, to get a crossover between the two. Um, but, yeah, excited to, to give it a good go. I'm um, looking forward to, to hitting some 340 kilometres in the park. Thanks, Ben. I'm um, Philly. My job's dead boring in comparison to all well, you guys. I'm a civil servant and it's, yeah, pretty dull. So, um, other than that, yeah, I just, I'm training for the marathon at the moment. Um, so, I've got like four drinks lined up here because I just did 24 miles this morning and I just can't eat anything now. Um, yeah, training for that. I've got uh, that Seville in February. So yeah, I'll, I'll be going as fast as I can next week. But it might be like a bit slower than I would usually be able to. Um, but yeah, gas, gas to be doing it, and like be be great to meet with you next week. Also, I know Dan really well and went for a run back at the weekend. So yeah, I'm Becky. Um, I'm in my last year of uni at St Mary's. Um, and yeah, I'm marathon trained at the moment, and I'm going to do Manchester. Um, and yeah, that's that's it really. Um, yeah, excited to be doing this. Uh, it sounds like a really great event. So yeah, thank you all. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm Katie. So similar to Tom, I'm a full time pro direct campaign manager, technically speaking. But as Tom says, kind of our roles are quite fluid. So I get to sometimes like contribute to some of the, some, some of the stuff that Tom does on social, and then get involved with so these kind of events as well. Um, <laughs> So I've, I've been a pro direct for about kind of like six months, six months now, and, and okay? yeah, it's it's a great, it was a great transition for me because I absolutely love running. I do like Instagram stuff like on the side, but kind of similar to Ben really. It's quite intimidating really being with some, like some of the elite. I'm just a very everyday kind of runner that just loves to run, just kind of makes it up as I go along, and just yeah, ha have a really good time with it. I've met loads of people out of it, so that's kind of my my running history. You'll see on the screen as well, I have kind of done a bit of an outline just of if we go by the kind of 340, kind of 550 mile pacing. Generally, this is kind of the time you would be expected to run. The lap itself is just going to be around the path of the of the outer circle. So it's literally just on the inside of like of, of the roadside. Like I say, it, it generally doesn't get very busy on that road, but just to kind of bear in mind that there is like a zoo that we do go past, but the path is relatively wide at that point, so there's enough space for us to kind of go round. But yeah, if there's anything else here, feel free to, to reach out. But yeah, thanks everyone for your time. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very awesome much. Awesome stuff, thank you. Cool. Thanks, see you later. Cool. Thanks everyone. Bye, guys. Take care, good luck. Bye-bye. So there we go, just finished our sort of Zoom meeting there, met everyone, the, the team that's going to be running on the day. Um, really excited to work with with those guys. Some exceptional runners amongst us. Um, unusually, I think I'm probably one of the one of the slower runners. 
Um, but anyway, I'm sure we're going to have a great time. I, th I believe the, the target pace on the day is 3.40 per kilometre, which is 5 minutes and 54 seconds per mile. Um, and that's the pace we need to maintain over the 100 kilometres as a team in order to try and break that, that world record of 6 hours and 9 minutes, I believe. Um, it's not actually a proper record attempt, I uh, just wanted to clarify that. It's, it's just a bit of fun um, to help promote these uh, Nike shoes with the, the Ekadent pack. So yeah, really excited to be working with Pro Direct Running on this one. Um, but yeah, without further ado... Let's skip a few days time when hopefully the um, kit has arrived and we'll do a bit of an unboxing. Here we go, a nice big delivery from Pro Direct Running. Let's have a look inside. Um, yeah, should be the shoes along with some kit to wear on the day. Whoa! So the first thing we've got is some um, half tights, I believe, in bright yellow. Um, Aero Swift half tights, size small, that's the right size. I've got a t-shirt with Pro Direct, the Pro Direct logo on it there. That's really nice. It's Pro Direct written on the back as well. It's pretty cool. And a Aero Swift by the look of things, which is the Nike, Nike uh, vest top. Again, with the Pro Direct logo on the front and back. Next, we have, what's this? They look like some tracksuit bottoms keep warm on the day. Standard fit, regular length. Oh hey, look at those. Got some Nike Spark lightweight crew socks. Always need more socks, so that I definitely wear those on the day. Hey, some Aero Swift shorts in small again. They look a little bit longer than the Aero Swift shorts I've got at the moment, so that's good. Um, so I don't, I don't have these ones, so it's nice to have another pair of black shorts. Oh wow. I think it's some trousers again. Yeah, some running trousers. Is there any... Oh, another piece of clothing. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. This looks like a long sleeve top from what I can see. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm going to need a bigger wardrobe at this, rate, at this rate. So these are some shoes. We'll open those last. Got a few more items of clothing. Nice bright yellow jacket. God, they really have gone all out. Thank you very much, Pro Direct Running. Nice yellow jacket. The, the Trail Run um, Nike jacket. Awesome. And finally, the shoes, what you've all been waiting for. So these are the Ekadent Pack um, Nikes, the Alpha Flies, in the latest colorway. Let's have a look. Oh la la. Oh wow, they're really nice. Check those out. Woo. They've even got like a, a pink um, midsole here, which is really nice. I thought that was gonna be white. Um, so yeah, in my size, let's check, UK 7.5, so in Alpha Flies I go half size down. These are actually the third pair of Alpha Flies I now own, um, but these are by far the best looking colorway. Um, so yeah, this is the Nike um, Ekadent pack, um, which you can now get online. I'll leave a link down below to um, the shoes, so you can have a little look on Pro Direct running website. I believe they also came out with um, this colorway in the Vaporfly and the Pegasus. Um, yeah, really nice looking shoe. And yeah, really excited to give these a try over the 100 kilometer relay, which is taking place next um, next week on the 19th of this month. I believe that is a Wednesday. Um, so I'm going to be running two legs in the 100 kilometer relay race. The first is at 11.20. I'm doing a 13 kilometer um, leg. At, yeah, 11.20. These are rough estimates in time. It's in Regent's Park in London. So if anyone is London based and has some free time um, and would love to come down and watch it, then yeah, that would be great if you could film um, anything on the day, um, which will help make my video um, and portray how the day went for me. My second leg, I've got it written down here, is at three o'clock. I'm actually doing the last leg, so the glory leg, hopefully with the, um, the baton 
and and we're going to try and beat the the six hours and nine minutes target hopefully we do it but yeah my leg is the last leg as well which is i believe a six kilometer loop um so one and a half times round regent's park to to end the event but yeah excited to give these a go um over the distance but yeah until next time aspire to run and run to inspire bye bye <laughs>